Hey guys, how's it going? Compared here. So yesterday I was playing the Path of Exiles and I was doing the races and people were uh, messaging me uh, in the stream chat that apparently PoEx, which is one of the main websites that people check out to see uh, what the value of their currencies are, uh, actually has dollar amounts next to the currencies. So this morning I went and checked it out and it is indeed true. And you know, when it comes to buying shit in video games for real money, it's kind of come to the point where it's more or less acceptable on a moral stance despite the game uh, almost always disallowing it. Now there are some games where obviously you can buy stuff for, you know, dollars within the game itself like Guild Wars and uh, from what I have been told uh, Neverwinter has a similar model to that but in terms of like third-party transactions I think all games disapprove of this uh, on my personal stance you know I really try not to see it this way you know when I put some time in a video game I don't want to you know play it and it's like oh man I just found a sword that's worth 60 bucks today's a good day some people they really like that but for me the game is always just going to be a game and the fun aspect is always going to be the primary reason why I'm going to play it, not so much the financial gain from selling the items that I you know, may choose to, uh, to get rid of later. When it comes to uh, Path of Exile, the game has a uh, you know, very good development team and they try to look into this stuff as much as possible. You know, I talk to them about this stuff, they assure me that you know, these guys you know, they're not making very much money anymore because they're getting caught pretty easily nowadays. But when it comes to websites like these, I think it's fundamentally wrong. Because when you have the main website that uh, dictates what stuff is worth, and they're the ones that are profiting from directly selling it to the people looking at the website, you have a situation with uh, pretty much labeled in fucking bold letters as total bullshit. Um, the reason is, whenever anyone's making any kind of money, like behind the scenes or kind of some sketchy stuff that uh, you know the primary party doesn't allow, for instance with video games in this case, if they have some kind of uh, financial motive to have some influence on the uh, value of those currencies, uh, they're probably going to take advantage of it. For instance, you know, obviously this is some pretty, you know, assumption based thinking I would I would say but you know think about it you know if you're the one selling the currencies and you realize uh, you know, no one's buying your exalted orbs because they're too expensive oh well, time to raise the value of exalted orbs by increasing uh, how much they're actually worth relative to other currencies now in this direct regard I'm not sure if this is exactly the case but you can understand where I'm coming from you know in this world people who want to make money uh, are pretty much going to do it and step on the other guy uh, without even thinking twice. And when it comes to uh, the video game industry, because it's so behind the scenes already, people who uh, participate in that kind of activity tend to not really care about the rules and tend to not really care about the uh, consequences of uh, what they do with selling and all the other shit in association with it. On the flip side, there are some pretty cool websites out there. Now, I don't recommend this for Path of Exile because, you know, people have been banning it, but uh, when it came to playing Diablo 2, uh, I always got really frustrated because it's such a pain in the ass to just sell stuff and, you know, the ladder would reset, you'd want to play the new ladder, but you have to start from scratch. Well, it's not bad, but, you know, you could see that if you didn't play all day, every day, a lot of other people have a pretty big advantage. And as a result, the uh, D2JSP website came into play. And I've used this website when playing Diablo 2, and I used it quite a bit when playing Diablo 3 as well. And it was it was really a lot of fun. This kind of it does kind of promote the uh, aspect of um, you know using the real money to buy stuff within video games. But on the other hand, the people who are making money don't really give a shit how they make it in regards to the currency within a game. And this is the fundamental difference that um, really makes the system work. Now, I don't use D2JSP anymore because, you know, for one, I didn't really care too much. I didn't really feel a need after uh, stopping playing Diablo and, uh, you know, the Path of Exile guys really didn't like it. But in terms of a website in itself, it really fits a role where it's an impartial party. So although people are spending quite a bit of money in getting the wealth within the games, 
the people making the money have you know no reason to care about um, the valuation of each individual item so it's completely impartial it's like a third party selling website and it really is just that not so much in the bad way but in the good way they have no influence in whether or not what you're trying to get you're going to get for a good deal or not it's between people and people if you guys know what I'm talking about you guys can check out the website again uh, be very careful when using it but I just want to bring you guys this idea and this point whenever you see um, some kind of conflict of interest as with this POEX website you have to be very skeptical um, in this in this case it's pretty much total bullcrap and um, you know you got to keep your eyes open and uh, hopefully you guys don't end up injecting too much money into what you like but in the end that's just my uh, recommendation you guys are free to do whatever you want but I think it's very important to keep gaming uh, just playing the game. It's just the game and the outside stuff shouldn't matter at all. So hopefully you guys learned a few things and I'll see you guys tomorrow.